everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a long time since i filmed a video but i went shopping yesterday so i wanted to film a haul of everything that i got so i'm just gonna jump right in um i'm just gonna show you all the shoes that i got first so let's start with shoes so this brand is freebird by steven and i've heard from other resellers that this is a good brand these are really beat up though, but I grabbed them anyway because they were only a dollar and it was the first time I've ever found this brand. Let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see the wear on that heel and like there's definitely toe wear, but they were still really cute. Like they're a really cute like distress kind of looking shoe. So I thought it would be a good pickup and even if I sold them for like 15, 20 bucks, I only paid a dollar so it's worth it to me. I got this pair of Brooks running sneakers. They're really nice. They're a gray with like this lavender color. They do have a little wear on the soles, but they're a really nice shoe. Is the lace missing from this one? Dang it. Oh no, wait. Oh no, it's in the other shoe. Okay. So, the laces are not attached. These are a size 9. Oh, and on these, I don't know what size these are. I cannot find the size. I want to say they're like a size 7 and a half or 8. So I gotta put the laces back on. But really cute nice pair of shoes I usually do pretty well with Brooks I got another pair of Brooks as well these are a little more beat up these are the other pair um, they're nice still I mean they do have some wear like on the toes and on the inside and on the bottom a little bit but they're still you know they're not falling apart or anything they're still super nice and these are a size nine and a half these are Time and True brand Leopard Flats, and I, for some reason, do really well with, even though it's Walmart, just the Leopard Print Flats, I've sold these, like, three times. For, like, not bad, like, 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks from Walmart, so these are only a dollar and, like, brand new. The bottoms don't have any wear, and I think they're a nine, too. Yeah, these are a nine, so another great size. These heels are super cute. They're, like, a suede camel kind of color brand is bamboo and i'm not really sure where that brand comes from but i've sold a pair of like combat boots by this brand so i figured i would give it a shot these are also size nine a lot of size nines today i got these kids ariat slip-ons these are a kid size and they are a little worn but they're still in good condition and these are really expensive anything ariat is expensive and i think that's why it sells really well these are a size 2 kids, so they have this cute like striped print on the front, I really like those. These I got for me, but they're a little big. They're a black suede boot, and they're really cute. They have kind of like this interesting shaped heel, pointy toe, but they say they're a size 5, but they definitely fit bigger, like they're a little too big on me. So I don't know, I might sell these, I might keep them, but they're really nice and they're in good shape too. Not too much wear on the bottom and the suede's not scuffed or anything, so that's good. So I got this pair of Vans. These are a size 8 and they're really beat up, but I think my mom is going to keep these. Just because of how beat up they are, I didn't really want to sell them. They would honestly look probably better if I cleaned the soles up a little bit, but the suede part is a little dirty, so I don't know. They could be cleaned up, but I just wasn't wanting to put in the work on those just because... Vans don't really sell for a lot like they used to. I can't really get as much money for them and they don't sell as fast. The last pair of shoes that I got are these rubber rain boots and they're really nice. They have very minimal wear. They're a men's size 9 and they're just a really nice boot and the brand is um, Bada? Bada? But they're made in the USA and I looked up some comps when I was out shopping and some of them had sold recently for decent money. So I'm going to give these a shot. I don't usually sell things like this, but they were only a dollar, and these are like expensive boots. And they're very heavy and very high quality. Um, I think this is the only other accessory. There might be another one in here. This is a Seattle Seahawks hat. I think it's pretty new because it still has that tag on inside, and then there's no wear, really. It's NFL branded. It's a really nice Seahawks hat. Okay, so I think I have one more cool thing to show you that's not clothing, and then I'll get into the rest. So I got this vintage ice pail bucket, and how cute is this print? I'm obsessed with it. It looks very 70s to me, 
I mean, it's really clean on the inside. Like, it does need a little cleaning up. This is the tag. I did pay $3 for this. It says Phoenix. I don't know, but I love it. And I'm probably going to keep this because it's so cute. Okay, now let's get into some clothing. I have quite a bit, so I'm going to try to go first. I only have 40 minutes on my memory card, and I don't feel like switching to a new one. So, let's get this rolling. Okay, so I got this for myself. It's like a maxi dress, striped. There's no brand on it. There's a slit in the leg, and it has this lace-up back. So it was really cute, and I tried it on. And I got this floral dress. This might be hard to see, because... And it's very, like, 70s print to me. I think it's 70s print. This is the brand, Marie New York. It doesn't have a size, but I'd say this is about a small or a medium. I got this state hoodie. I have a collection of state um, championship hoodies from the state that I live in. So I just found one. It's softball. I thought it would be fun to add to my collection. I got this American Eagle denim jacket. This is older American Eagle based on the tag. But I like getting denim jackets just because I know people look for them. And this was only a dollar. It's not something I'd pick up for more than a dollar. This Talbot's green vest. This was just different. I thought it was nice. It's a size large. I don't ever pick up Talbot. Oh, hello. Look who it is. Oh, it's Phoebe. Say hi. Hello. Decided to join us today. Oh, she's so cute. I don't know if you'd wear, this is something I think you'd wear like outdoors or maybe wear it fishing or something, doing some outdoor activities. This is a vintage leather jacket. The brand is Pioneer Wear, and I think I've had this brand before and I've sold it. But it's this really cool, like, oh, I guess this is like a cream with like tan details. It's like a mid length, it's not like a full trench coat, and it has this really cool belt with it. And yeah, it's just beautiful. I thought it was just a great vintage leather piece. It does have some scuffs on it, but they're not really that bad. It has some nice pockets on the front. So it's a really beautiful jacket. I started putting more stuff on Depop, and it's actually doing really well. So I think I'm going to put a lot of this stuff on Depop. I mean, Depop's been popping off lately, because I decided to cross post all my vintage. This is a vintage tapestry vest. I do really well with these that have like these... Uh, tapestry embroidered like things on. I sold one with dogs the other day on it. This one has like a what is on this? Looks like leopards, zebras, and elephants. So like a little safari print. And then on the back it's corduroy. This is from Dress Barn. Um, must be older Dress Barn and it's a size 1X but I would say it's more of a I would say this is more of like a size large or extra large. It's a vintage jacket. Kind of like grandma, grandma couch print, you know, like those old couches. That's what it reminds me of. It's Coldwater Creek size medium. I don't know, I just thought it was different. I like to add funky pieces like this to like my Depop and Poshmark. Because you never know what someone's looking for. And I just personally love vintage stuff, so I like to pick it up. This is a pair of J. Crew. I would say this is like an army green color capri pants. They're a size 8. And I pick up J. Crew because it does good for me sometimes, I guess depending on like what piece it is, but I usually pick it up if it's the right piece and for the right price. Because they had another pair of these there, they were in like a peach pink color and I just didn't think that was a popular color and I didn't like it. So I just got that pair. This is a vintage uh, zip up, what's the brand? The brand is at ease and it's a size extra large, but I'd say it's more of a size large. But it's this really cool striped, velvety kind of, and it's cropped too, so it's really cute. Then I got this Madewell t-shirt. It's very basic. I might keep it because it's my size, but it is really cute, and it's a really nice gray color. So yeah, not much to that. There's a tag. I got this American Eagle denim shirt. It's got like these pearl snaps on it. I got it because maybe I might wear it like over a tank top or something, but I could also try to sell it if I don't like it. This is like a black long sleeve, kind of a sweater material. The brand is Tribal. It looked like an expensive tag, so I got it and I didn't have time to look it up. It's a size extra small, small, so I don't know if this brand is worth anything, but I don't know. I just grabbed it and 
We'll see. I'll have to look it up. I got this orange, uh, I guess, is this like a pea coat, I think? I need to look up this tag and see if that's anything because it looks old. Survey Ben Bernard by Bernard Holtzman. I don't know. It's definitely vintage though. It's a size six. Kind of like a blazer looking coat. Oh, it's got these really pretty buttons on it. So, this shirt I'm obsessed with. This is the first thing I picked up. It's a denim shirt on top and it has these bears all over it. How cute is that? It has these pearl button down snaps. I don't know if this was like handmade by somebody. This is the tag. It doesn't have a size on it or anything, but it's so cool. I love it so much. I don't even know what I'd price that at, but I'm obsessed with it. The bears have little ties on them too. Little ties and bow ties. It's so cute. This is like a western style shirt. I like to sell western style clothing just because I like it. And I think a lot of people look for it. Rowdy <laughs> Rowdy crowd clothing, extra large. And it's got this cute fringe on it. Target Wild Fable tank top. I got it for me, but if I don't like it, I'm just gonna sell it for like 10 bucks or something. These jeans are like super unique. They are really cool. They're very heavy. The brand is London London. What size are they? I can't find a size in them, but they're this really cool pair of jeans. They're kind of, I guess they're kind of cropped. I guess it depends how tall you are. These would be just long enough for me, but... Some people they might be really short, but they're just a really cool vintage pair of jeans. I got those. They're so heavy though for some reason. This bum equipment, vintage bum equipment shirt. It's a size extra large and it's just got this really cool like graphic on it. I've had bum equipment a lot. I have a lot of bum equipment pieces that I've kept for myself and that I've sold. But these I'm going to sell. Here's another one. Bum equipment. This is just like a gray. It's an extra large as well. So it's really cool. They're good sizes too. This is an Abercrombie and Fitch little flannel. I got this for myself, but if I don't like it, I'm just gonna sell it. It's a really nice color, really cute. Size extra small. This is a vintage, what do I call it? Like a vintage tank top, vintage collared tank top. It's like a lavender color. Um, the brand is Shenanigans, size large. I just love picking up simple vintage pieces like that. I think they're really cute. This is one of my favorite things to pick up are these double collared crew necks because I like them personally and they sell okay but it has these little blue jays on it and it's really short like it's really tiny. It's like an extra small. It's a petite small but I'd say this is like an extra small. The arms are really short. It is super tiny but it's really cute. This I want to try on because I need to see what this looks like. This is totally like Y2K, Barbie core, whatever they call it. There's no tag or size in it. But how adorable is this? I'm really excited to try it on and just see what it looks like. But this is definitely going to go on Depop. And I'm going to use like keywords like Barbie core, Y2K, stuff like that. This is a Miss Me button up denim shirt. Miss Me doesn't do as well anymore for me. I don't know why. I'm not really sure how this is going to do, but it's really cute. <laughs> I say everything's cute, guys. Okay, I think everything is so cute. Uh, this is a size small. I have a pair of American... Not American. I have a pair of Miss Me jeans that have just been sitting for a while, and they're a good size and, like, a great style, so I don't understand what's going on with Miss Me, but we're just going to try that shirt. I got a pair of Little Kids Wranglers. I always pick these up because they sell for me pretty well on Kidizen, so I like to pick up these little wranglers they're so cute too these are a size six slim and they have an adjustable waist but yeah i always pick those up when i find them because they're expensive at the store this is an ll bean like vintage shirt it just has these little like floral details on it it's a size large and it's super cool i wasn't going to get this but i just thought it was really pretty these are so cute these are aprons and they look vintage. This is Snoopy. How adorable is this? I don't know if these are handmade. It kind of looks like it, but I don't, I can't find a tag on them anywhere, but I'm not sure. But how cute! There's this one. Oh, these are really hard to show. This little Christmassy themed one, it has a little pocket. Adorable. This one is just like a green color. I can honestly wear this one all year round and it has these cute pockets, cute flowers on it. 
adorable. This is an orange corduroy button up. And I just got this because I like corduroy and it was a really interesting color. Like a, something different, you know. So the brand is just Denim & Co. But I didn't pick this up based on brand. It's the style that I love. I'd honestly say most of the things I pick up are based on style. This is a vintage sweater vest. How cute is this with the little flowers on it? I say that, but size large. So beautiful. I love vintage. I think I'm going to start like just a page just for vintage stuff because I love it and I find a lot of it. So this is Urban Outfitters. So this is little little dress. I'm not sure what you would call this print, but it's pretty. And it has this tie on the side. There's the tag, size small. Here's another vintage piece. This is just Coldwater Creek, but I just loved the, like this would be so cute, like over top someone's outfit with all these bright colors. I love that. Did I say it's a size medium? Now this, let me tell you about this. So this is an Old Navy little kid's vest, but I sold one of these probably about a year ago in like an adult size small, same exact, like, it's like they made a mini version of it. It was the same exact color same exact stripes so I had to get this little baby version. I took up vintage baby clothes too because like why not? They're even cuter than the adult ones. I found this vintage Victoria's Secret. I think this is a shirt and it's like kind of like a half top. It's a size, what size is it? Medium. But I always pick up vintage Victoria's Secret. I haven't really had much luck with it but the pieces are so beautiful. Like I can't, I could not pass this up for a dollar. It's so cute. I got that, and then I found this corset. I know that corset style tops are in, but so I found this and I was like, well maybe someone would want to wear like a real one or something, I don't know. And it's new with tags, it's like dead stock, because this is an old tag. Uh, this was a dollar, it says three on the tag, but it was a dollar sale. You can lace it up in the back, and then it has like these things, I don't know if these attach to your pants, but it's like a real corset, so it's really cool. What size is this? Hollywood is the brand. Size 38. So it's kind of like in bra sizing. So it's really pretty. I found this baby winter snowsuit. I did really well at the beginning of like, what was it? November with like kids, um, snow jackets and stuff. So I found this really nice little snowsuit. It's a little dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. But the brand is Snowzoo. What size is this? Size three to six months. How freaking cute is this? Oh my god, it's like you're, there's already a baby in here. It's so thick, but really adorable. I got this Aladdin t-shirt. I like to pick these Disney t-shirts up. They're not a huge uh, money maker. What size is this? Large. Not a huge money maker, but they are, sometimes they're a quick sale for like 10, 15 bucks. So this is Penguin Fashions is the brand. Uh, there's no size on it. But it's this huge, I'm just going to show it without talking because it's going to block my voice out. Okay. Can you see it? So it's this like, what is this print called? Houndstooth? Look at these buttons too. Oh my goodness. It's so heavy. Like this is probably like five pounds almost. It's this gorgeous coat. I don't, I feel like I've heard of that brand before, but I'm really not sure. So I have to look it up, but it's lined red on the inside absolutely stunning. I only have 20 minutes left on this card. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because I still have to film a thumbnail, but we'll see. Okay. So this is a Union Bay denim skirt. I think these are in, this is a longer one. It's a size five. Great Union Bay vintage piece. This is a, oh, what does it say? Dolphin, Dolphin Discovery. This is new. Like this is new vintage. Uh, wherever this person got it from. How adorable is this? And it has like a, an adjustable bottom where you can cinch it. So cute. Wait, can you see that? Dolphin Discovery. Adorable. I found another double collar sweatshirt. This one has cardinals on it. And a little winter scene. How pretty. This is a size uh, extra large. I'd say maybe more of a large. This is a vintage dress. Not sure what era or time period, but it has this cool design on the front. 
and it has a string in the back so like you can tie it, cinch it around the waist. What size? I don't think there's a size in this, so I'm gonna have to provide measurements for that. I'd say maybe a medium large size. Okay, last bag. Let's see. It's a vintage long sleeve shirt. I have literally this exact same piece that I just haven't posted yet. So now I have two. It's really cool. It has kind of like a floral design on it. This is from Bonworth and it's a size large. Here is a denim shirt. It's not buttoned up so it's kind of hard to see. But look at the little rose detail that it has at the top and this lace trimmed collar. It's really gorgeous and it has the little lace on the arms. This is a denim dress and it's a bigger, let's see what size it is, size 12. So it's a good size and it has this little tie at the waist so you can cinch it and it buttons all the way down. It's adorable. I think it's missing a few buttons. This I thought was like a kid's or a, girl, a women's baby doll dress but it's actually a girl's nightgown. I still got it because it's so cute. Look at the bees on it and like the flowers. It's adorable. I guess it's like a size, I don't even know what kid's size that would be, but it's so cute. This is just a pink button up shirt. I just thought this was really cool. Bubblegum pink, size uh, medium. That would be adorable over something, like over a black tank top or something. Here's another Union Bay, size large. I don't know, this is smaller than a large. This is maybe a medium, but it's got cropped three-quarter length sleeves. Really pretty. This is a vintage shirt, button-up shirt, and it has this super cool, ah, uh, it's not buttoned. It has this super cool, like, fall painting on it. Let's see, maybe you can see that on the back better. Like, look how stunning that is. This is a size extra large and sweater vest flowers on it, size small, hand embroidered. This is, this is a vintage t-shirt with some flowers on it. This is a bigger size so that's always good. I would say this is an extra large, probably. I love getting Hawaiian shirts for myself usually, but I try to sell them. This is uh, a size medium brand is requirements and it's this beautiful purple palm leaf. It's so cute. So gorgeous. There's another vintage vest. Has really cool different like gingham colors. Red, blue. The back looks like it's a little discolored but I think it just might be the wash of the denim. But it's really pretty. It's a size, I would say this is definitely a size small. There's no size tag on it, but it definitely is a small. This is a black slip dress. I love picking these up. This is a size large. That's the brand Rampage. Does not have adjustable straps, but is gorgeous. This is, I got for myself, and because it has a hole in the arm, but it just gave me very like 70s vibes, because it says peace on it. It is a little beat up. It's just the brand Mud. So it's not vintage or anything, but it looks vintage. This is a Mickey Mouse Club crew neck. I got this only because it is from the Disney parks. I pick up like that Aladdin shirt like I got just because it was Aladdin and I thought it was cool. But I don't usually pick up Disney unless it's vintage or from the parks. So this is from the parks. This is a really cute vintage t-shirt with a pocket and the pocket just has like a little flower on it. It's this really pretty pink color size medium. This is from St. Thomas. It's like a dress you would get when you were on vacation or something I think. And it's got these really cool pocket, can you see that? Pocket details. This is, it doesn't have a size tag but I want to say it's a large, extra large. That for me because it was really pretty, well not like pretty but like it would be really cute with an outfit. It's a denim like shirt but the denim's really thick. And it does have like this decal on it, but honestly, like I don't really care. I think it would be so cute over like a shirt. I got this little Y2K leopard red cropped tank top, Saint Eve. I'd say this is probably a large. This is a very 90s style dress. It's short and it has a little, does it have a slit? Yeah, it has like this baby slit right here. 
and it has this really cool pattern on it. This is the tag. It's a really cool tag. Size 11. So I think this will do good on Depop. Just Rue 21, and I don't like to pick up Rue 21, but I thought it was a funky sweater. It had like the SpongeBob like clouds on it, like in Bikini Bottom, that's what the clouds look like. So that's what it reminds me of. Okay, I love this. This is so cool. RV, RVCA. This is the brand. It's like this little, I think it's a surf brand, right? I don't know. It's this little like dress. It looks way brighter on camera. In person, it's a much more muted orange. It's like this short little like cute dress. Like I want to wear it and keep it, but I'll probably sell it. And there's no size tag. I'd say it's probably a size small. It's a medium. No, probably just a size small. I don't know. It has these adjustable straps. Maybe it could be a medium with the straps. But it's so cool. It's very beachy. Very like surfer vibes. This is a vintage, does it say Maui? Vintage Maui tank top. It's like that real nice like thick cotton. And it's vintage. And it's so cute. What size is it? It's a size large too. We got some good sizes today. This is a really cute sweater. I just sold a sweater vest a couple days ago that was the same brand. Jenny. And uh, this is a size large. And look at it. It's so cool. And the sleeves are embroidered as well. Such cute. I'd like call that like granny core on Depop. That's how I would like title that so people could find it in search. And then this is the last thing of the haul. It's this really pretty dress. Not really sure what style this is, but I love it personally. Um, I don't know if it's vintage, maybe size medium. And it's adorable. I love it. I kind of want to try it on. There's a couple things I got from like an auction the other day that I wanted to show really quick. So these are a pair of American Eagle leggings. They're a size large. They're really nice. They're like a navy blue. I got this kids vintage Levi's jacket. This is adorable. And it's old because look at that orange tab. How freaking cute. I think it's like a size five or something. I don't know. But the tag is really worn. It's such an amazing jacket. So cool. And then I got these vintage baby Nikes. Stop. Those are so freaking and then these are a pair of stride right walking shoes they're like saddle shoes the sole is coming off of this one but how adorable and then i got this really nice racing jacket nascar racing jacket it's dodge oh wait let me zip this up so y'all can see like the full effect oh look how cool that is this is a size large badass Okay, and then I got some Carhartt. This is a Carhartt hoodie. I got three car, two Carhartt, two Carhartt hoodies and a Carhartt vest for six bucks. How awesome. This is a size, what size, what size? Large, so good size for Carhartt. And it's not too stained up either. And then this one is also, and oh, this is an extra large actually. This is a brown. This one has <coughs> a Carhartt on the sleeve, too. How awesome. And then, finally, let me zip this up. I gotta get some stains out, maybe, but, oh, cool. This is a women's size. Or maybe it's not women's. No, it's not women's. This is just a men's size. It's large. Awesome vest. Okay. Now that's everything. So that was everything that I got yesterday shopping. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I know I haven't posted in a long time, but I'm trying to get back at it and film haul videos because there's a lot of good stuff. And I would say go to my Poshmark and my Depop pages because I haven't been able to show everything that I've gotten recently on videos just because I've been too busy. But I have a lot of good stuff on there, so go check them out. They're linked below. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!